right, year seven, seven E. I thought I'd just go through showing you how to do tonal to tornado again. I think the important thing is that layering so you blend between the tones. So you've got here, you've got your dark tone, and here you really want it to be your light tone. And a really, really, really good tonal drawing has the really dark and then it goes to the light. So when I squint my eyes, I shouldn't have a, any sharp line. And you see how just by layering the pencil, how it refines the work. So what we want to do, when you look at mine, you want to get this same look. So I'm going to fold it in half. See, it's in half. And then when I put it up against, up against here, can you see, I could go much, much darker on my coffee pot. Can you see that? So you've got my picture, and then you put this here. Can you see how much darker I can go? So what I'm going to do is, having seen that, I'm then going to add these really, really layering it up, really sharpening, sharpening that up. Now where I'm thinking about where my light is, so my light is like a torch, so it's hitting here. I've decided my light is shining directly at it, so I know the dark is going to be here, and the dark is going to be here, and here, and here. Now, can you see how my drawing, just by layering, layering that pencil, is already looking better? Yep. And then here, I can sharpen up around here. And it should be lovely. And when you're using a pencil, what you want is, you want your pencil to feel like it's flowing, like it's flowing off the thing. You shouldn't force it off the end. You should allow, get the right angle so you just see it flowing off the end of the pencil. And you see how there, it's lovely. And I can just do here. So if I get my tonal tornado again, can you see, I've used that there and what's wonderful, I haven't folded it properly, folded it properly in half, like that, I now know I can do the same thing there, I could go quite, quite a bit darker there and here, so if I go, yeah. Hope you've uh, invested in some colour pencils. Possibly um, get some off Amazon to be delivered because um, they just make such a difference to your artwork. And the artwork you can achieve, the standard you can achieve just with a good set of colour pencils is amazing. So that's where I've done to this since you've watched my since I've you started watching this this is what has happened to my drawing. Um the other thing I could do looking at the colors here is um I can bring in other colors. I could actually just get another layer because there would be a reflection on this from the blue. So that can be quite fun just to add a layer of color. Here taking the tonal tornado here, can you see, I could do the edges here, even though I've got them in blue, could be a lot darker, thinking about the torch hitting here. So here, again, I'm layering. You think I'm doing this and holding the phone. We have a very famous YouTuber living in our street, and um, I may have to go and ask him if I can uh, borrow, <laughs> borrow his camera, because... Um, it's much harder doing this than it looks. Like this, let's say it like that. And then I can add some tone. And use, add some tone in here. Okay. Okay, well, I want you to now go back to your work in your sketchbooks that you are working at. And I want you to make a tonal tornado. Think about where the light's coming on coming onto the objects and then you know make that rule is it going to hit the objects directly where's the shadow going to be and then I want you to layer that color pencil on top of your watch your wash not your watch your wash 
and I look forward to seeing the work being uploaded onto the assignment. Thank you. Bye.